Hey guys! Woo! Hi guys! Oh, let me. I'm Thanks gonna pull for... up my it on my phone so I can see all the questions. That come wow, out. we already <laughs> have a ton of questions that people have already been talking. Hi Aww. to our team members. Oh my goodness, hey, we have everybody. so many here. Thank you guys so much. I um. Oh my goodness. They've been chatting up a storm. Yes, they have been. <laughs> wow. There must be like a hundred comments on, more than a hundred comments on here. This is wonderful. Well, as you know, we have a, a very special guest today. One of our brothers from another mother. <laughs> our dear love. Without further ado, we'd like to introduce who, Kat? Steve Cardino. Steve Cardino. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you gotta roll the R's in the Spanish. Yes, <laughs> yes. Hi, uh, Steve. Uh, Welcome to the uh, show. Hey, guys. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Thank you. Thank you for having me. This is so cool. I love that you guys are doing this, and I've totally wanted to come on here for a while now. So, yay, here I am. Oh, Thank well, you. Thank you so much. Very blessed to have you here. Very blessed. So, yes, what have you been up are. to? I know that you've just, you just Can moved. Can everybody hear me okay, though, first? We'll just do that real quick. Yeah, good. Yep. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Yes. All right. Then proceed. Okay. <laughs> so we know that you are in a new place. You are in yeah. a new, you are over, not just over across the hill. The pond. Yes. Across the pond. What brought that on? You'd like to share where, where you are and what's coming up for you? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm living in London now. Um, <clears throat> you know, I think COVID kind of like changed things for everybody. You know, my, my girlfriend lives here in London and, you know, beef, you know, we've been dating for almost a couple of years now, but we would see each other once a month, you know, either I would come here or she would go to the States and, you know, we, we'd always spend at least, you know, 10 days out of the month together. And, uh, we were very, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking diligent about it's doing that, diligent. you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, exactly. And, um, you know, then when, when COVID hit, you know, it was like, Oh, she, she, they can't come to, she can't come to the States at all. You know, there's big travel bans and everything. Right. So, um, you know, I hadn't seen, I hadn't been able to see her since February, you know, but we, you know, of course we stayed in contact all the time. We talked 200 times a day and all that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. but it was like, well, with, with her work, she can't really come to the States right away, you know, cause of her job. So, you know, I can kind of work from anywhere when I do these events that I do and stuff. So it made sense for the time being to come and be here for a while. And then after a couple of years when, you know, her contract is up and she can move to another place in order to work, then we'll probably come back to the state. So, but for the time being, I'm going to be here for a while and I'm very happy and very excited. That's fun to it, have so. a new, a new yeah. adventure, right? Yes, it is definitely a new adventure. I mean, I haven't really got to begin my adventure yet because I, <laughs> I have to quarantine for two weeks when I get, when I got here. So I've got about another week to go and, and then I can finally like venture out and stuff. But, um, <laughs> You know, while it's actually good though, because it's like giving me time to like set up all of the events that I'm going to have starting in October. So right, very yeah, I, actually starting at the end of books. September. Yeah, yeah. He set up a bunch of comic book store signings, and mm -hmm. he's going to be all over the place. We are going everywhere, oh, hopping everywhere. all over. The, at least, <laughs> at least for the rest of this year, it'll just be the UK. But then, hopefully, when some of the restrictions lift in 2021. I'll start bouncing to the EU as well and, you know, yes. hit some of the European shows and then go for Scotland, Ireland, all that kind of stuff. Nice. Yes. Yeah. So, guys, if you want to if you want to find out where he's going to be, you can find that on his uh, social media. He's really active on his social media page, uh, Steve Cardenas PR. My social media is like just a billboard now for all the <laughs> yes. places that I go. <laughs> There's like nothing else yeah. on there. Like, hey, I'm going to be in this place. Oh, hey, I'm going to be in this place. And every now and again, I might put a selfie up there or something. But. All right. <laughs> I yes. just have to yes I just have to talk about your your girlfriend real quick because I am so impressed with her job can you just tell everybody what she does because sure, yeah, she's yeah. a little brainiac um, so I know I'm probably gonna <laughs> I'm probably gonna bugger it all up but let's see uh Alice is a uh she is a um research scientist I guess maybe that's the simplest way to put it um specifically she's a uh research fellow uh, she's a uh, postdoctor, postdoctorate, right? Postdoctorate. <laughs> she's over here right now, um, and she works for a big pharmaceutical company. And specifically, she's doing stem cell research right now. 
That's incredible. So, Amazing. She's doing important stuff. Yes, she is. is. She is. <laughs> Yeah. She's a real so. life hero. Yes. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, I, I guess that's one way to definitely put it for sure. She's, um, but yeah, she's very, very smart, very intelligent. So I don't know what it is that she sees in me, but hey, I'm gonna run. With it. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> she said, "Cause I'm cute." Because <laughs> <I'm laughs> you're cute. Completely shallow. Completely shallow. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. <laughs> we have had some. Oh, so, sweet. so we're going to get started on some of these super chat questions from okay. for that have come in. Some have come in, you know, earlier today, last night. So we're going to start with those first, um, and then okay. we'll get to some of the other ones too. Yay! So okay. first super chat. Uh, Chat question. Chat. Are we gonna do? Are we gonna do our super chat? Our super chat dance. Rubber baby dance buggy chat? bumpers. Rubber baby good bug bumpers. <laughs> right. Are I'm we sister, doing? Sister. Are we doing our super chat dance? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, All yeah, right. 100%. Sorry. All right. Get your hands up. You ready? Okay. okay. Super, super chat, chat. Super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Raise, super chat. Raise, raise them up, up high. high. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hard. We're in different places. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, Chris. Well, hey, at least we're not trying to do the morphing sequence in unison. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That was so, hard. So, Chris Kolka asked, how, what, how was, wait, how was it, did you, like, how did you like wearing the plant makeup? <laughs> you know, I, I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm gonna preface all of that with, you know, when I first, when I first got on Mighty Morphin, you know, I was filling somebody else's shoes in a sense, you know, and and I really didn't get the chance to sort of come into my own until Zio really, um, you know, and in Zio, they really gave my character a lot more to do and gave my character a lot more depth in a sense. And they got to do more goofy things with me, which I felt was kind of a good direction to take my character, you know? Um, yeah. To be sort of that, that fun loving guy, you know, um, that was like, sort of that hopeless romantic at the same time was like, you know, I don't know, always worried about his position in the group or whatever and that kind of stuff. So there was a lot of fun things with that. Um, but then he would tend to get himself in trouble with that as a result. Um, and I guess one time I got turned into a plant. <laughs> <laughs> but that was fun because, you know, that, was, that one actually was cool because it had some innuendo in it, you know? Right. Yes. I, was like, I was actually like flirting with Kat and I was like, hey, uh, <laughs> You've got some nice stems. Some nice <laughs> nice I don't remember That's what it was, something. but yeah. yeah. And I'm like, hurry up and fix yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. 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 That, that was, was fun. That's right. So that, that was fun, you know. I mean, you know, just the, the opportunity to be, you know, a little bit more creative, you know. I, um, I, I really felt like Zio really gave my character that opportunity more, which I was always really grateful for. I know. I, th I, I agree with that. I, I think they did them a little bit more with the storylines in Zio than they did in season three of MMPR. I thought yeah. I thought it was good too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, but you know, like say you know, the way that you got introduced, you know, you had like a pretty good storyline. You know what I mean? Like right. the way your character got introduced. But then I guess like in say the beginning at the end of MMPR, beginning of Zio, like. All of a sudden, it was just like, boom, here's Nakia. It was like, <laughs> wait, how did this all happen? You know, they didn't yeah. really get into it too much. <laughs> right. you know? And I feel yeah. like, you know, we kind of got thrown into something, too. And it, we, you know, you know, so sometimes a character can get slighted right from the very beginning because right. you know, of bad writing, in a sense. You know, right. it's not yes. necessarily a fault of the character, but, you know. Um, I don't know. I'm going off on a tangent here, but no, no, I feel it's like okay. it's important to say, you know, um, like, like, for example, well, I think another thing that was a little bit confusing, too, and it, it sort of was wasn't the case when you guys by the time you came on. But when we came on the show, you know, the show was coming on every single day and we were trying to crank out episodes as fast as we could. But there was we wouldn't get them out in enough time so they were showing a lot of reruns of of season right. one and season two so it's like here if you think about if you're a four-year-old kid or a five-year-old kid and you're watching the show and then you see this new red ranger come on and then three episodes later there's the old red ranger again you know it's like i imagine it must have been really confusing at confusing. that confusing yeah so it was really hard to get that established and it probably didn't really take root until we got into you know, the end of season three and, and, and then Zeo and stuff. So I, yeah, you know, so I think that's why now, we'll you guys to finally came, more accept our characters. You guys came in season two 
or season yeah, end of season in, two? We came in. We came in in the around like the middle, almost the middle of season two. Got it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And that was yeah. before the movie. Then, for some reason, I don't know. Yeah, that before was before the movie. Okay. Yeah, that was a, a quite a rush, as it's been explained through you know, like Karen and just hearing Johnny's story and hearing your story, how you guys, uh, you know, you all came from Texas together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we you all guys, came from Texas. You all auditioned and, together too, didn't you? Well, we all auditioned, but we didn't. I mean, first we didn't see each other. Not at the first audition because there was just thousands of people there, and we didn't run into each other. We didn't actually meet until we did our our second audition, which they actually flew us. We met at the airport. And then they flew us to California, and then we all auditioned in that same day. And that's when we got, I got to meet all of them at that's that amazing. time. That's yeah, amazing. it was, uh, but we definitely, <laughs> we definitely got thrown in the deep end like straight away. <laughs> you know? And how like, long were you guys on the show before you went to Australia? Um, we filmed for about six weeks doing episodes for the show so okay. we could get something in the can. Even though none of our episodes, even though we started filming in probably like around July, late July, early August of 1994, our episodes didn't air until November. And we were already well into shooting the movie at that point. So they shut wow. down production after about six weeks. So sometime in September, I think, we flew over to Australia and started doing the movie. And then we ended up just supposed to be September, October, maybe November, you know, it's and and but it, we ended up being like September, October, November, December, January. We were there for like five months almost. It was pretty crazy. Wow, that's yeah. awesome! Now that's awesome. No, I, I mean, wish it, I could it's have gone. great. It was great for me <laughs> in the sense that we were getting paid by the week. So the more weeks that we, <laughs> that we stayed on the movie, the more I got paid. So yeah, I was like, hey, yeah. We need, to, we, need, we need to reshoot the whole movie. I got no problem with that. <laughs> Well, because well, we were also making like 10 times as much you know for the movie awesome. as we were making for the episodes so it was like okay yeah please yeah. let's look yeah. another three more months i'm down for that that's cool <laughs> absolutely yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. sorry. That go was ahead chris, we can have, go to the next question if we want sorry. that was chris kolka's question one of our team members thank you, thank chris. you for that thank you, and, chris. It was, and just to reiterate since i couldn't post that pick that up it's uh the question was how how was it wearing the plant makeup? And so uh, oh, Steve right. was explaining so, yeah, that. Man, we went off the real, yeah, the plant no, no, makeup wait, was, wait. it was interesting. That's good. That's, now yeah. it's interesting information. I like it because they did sure. other stuff too. Remember they did the werewolf makeup too on us? Yeah. You know, that episode, yeah, I got to be a werewolf and do a British and... accent, which was kind of cool. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> Lord Henry or whatever my name was, I can't remember. <laughs> Lord Henry. <laughs> Lord yeah. Rocky. Okay, next question. Yeah. <laughs> David Machin, who is also one of our team members, asked, Hi, Steve. Remember me from uh, VirtueCon? Super chat. Super chat. Oh, yes. Yeah. Super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Raise them up high. Yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, hi, Steve. Remember me from VirtueCon back in May. What does it mean to you to have a positive influence on your fans? Hello to Alice. Stay safe and healthy. Enjoy your time in the UK. Okay. Again, another person says hello. Um, yeah. So, you know, I mean, how how can you not feel blessed? You know that 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 after twenty five years. Mm of, you know, doing something, you know, that was like a kid's show that was sort of campy and rather goofy and, you know, you don't think it's going to last or have any kind of a lasting effect because most of pop culture is very fad oriented and it's like, hey, there's a craze that's happening, but when the craze dies out, it's dead, right. you know, and it ever comes back. So for the fans to to hold on to the Power Rangers the way that they did, um, I mean, it's a testament to what Power Rangers is all about, and that's good, and it was nice to be a part of that. But personally, for me, like when people come up and say, hey, you know, um, you know, I went through a really rough childhood, and you know, you gave me like, you know, it was like a bright spot in my day, you know, every time I got to watch Rangers, and I just wanted to come up and tell you that, you know, that sort of gets you right here. It's a nice feeling, you know what I mean? Like for people come up and say that, or sometimes people just go, hey man, I used to get down with that show. That's tight, man. What's up? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm, and that's cool too. You know what I mean? Like whatever, any kind of experience that I can give, you know, people and, you know, so, uh, you know, how can you not be 
happy with that. Right. I mean, there's a lot worse things you could be known for. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd Absolutely. rather not, I'd rather have this than be infamous for something, you know, right. that just won't de- go away, you know, like that would be horrible. So, um, yeah, but, and to answer your question, yes, I think I do remember you from the VirtuCon. Uh, so good to see you again. Hello. Okay. <laughs> good. good to hear from you again. <laughs> That was David Machin. All right. Another super chat. This is from Big Licky Studios. Super chat, super chat. Super. Raise the roof. Oh, how's it go? <laughs> yes. Raise them up super chat, high. Super chat, super chat, super chat. Raise them up high. Oh, raise them up high. I got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, hi, Steve. Oh, how Pers- ridiculous, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. All right. Anyways, cool. Go ahead. Hi, Steve. Hi, yeah. Steve. Kirsty, Connor. Connor and Carter and myself would like to say hello. Hope we see you soon this year. Say hello to Alice for us. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Alice, uh, Scott and Kirsty, um, they, yeah, she knows who they are saying hello. Um, hello guys. Yes. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. You know where I'm going to be soon. So, uh, you guys are welcome to come. They always come and try to see me every time I come to England. So they're so sweet. Uh, they're, they're some of our channel members as well. Yeah, been right. so yeah they're great. Yeah. They're always very supportive. Absolutely. Yeah. I've, I've always been very, me like Scott. I met him the very first time me I like- met Scott and Christy. <laughs> Um, I, I met Scott and Christy uh, the, for the very first time at London Film and Comic Con back in the winter of like 2013. So I've known them really? for a while. Wow. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. And I remember because they both <laughs> came. They Sorry, both yeah. came, and Scott had the Green Ranger suit on, and then uh, Chris, uh, Christy came with the Pink Ranger suit on. And then they had the little baby dressed up in like a little Red Ranger onesie or something oh, like that. Now they, now that's they cute. Because that was like, you know, 10 years ago or, right. or eight, uh, eight years ago or something. So, yeah, good times. That's awesome. All right. I'm going to let you lead the super chat because I don't want to stumble, Kat, since I have to read the questions. Okay. We have another super chat. Right, ready? Yes. Super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat. Raise them up high. <laughs> this is Holla. from... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is from Dunamis Prime. Hi, Steve. What is it like? Let me move this out of the way so I can see the question. What is it like returning to Ninja Steel since you missed being in Forever Red, Red when they could have had you as the Red Ninja? Well, I, I I'll, I'll answer that two parts. One, I feel like you know because it's not canon in any way. Um, they could have had two Red Rangers. Easily, they could have, you know, there's no reason why they couldn't have had both. Um, and actually, um, I think, didn't they Didn't they have Red Ranger and Zeo Ranger uh, in the Mega War? <laughs> I mean, I don't um, know. Um, no, so, uh, but yeah, in Forever Red, I feel like they, if they were going to bring me back, they could have brought me even back as the Red Ranger and had two Red Rangers. I mean, right. I'll, I'll see why they couldn't have done that. Um, but aside from that, yeah, I was kind of bummed that I got passed over on that one. Still to this day, it's a bit of a mystery exactly what happened. I don't know, but all I know is that I wasn't in it. (laughs) That much we do know. (laughs) Did they? Uh, and, And so it was great to go back to Ninja Steel because I had actually petitioned to be, you know, on the show a few times after that, after, you know, after Mega War, between Mega, Mega War and up until Ninja Steel, I had petitioned, you know, to be on there a few times and they kept coming back with, well, we're not going to do any cameos in this one. We're not going to do this. We're not going to take go that direction, whatever their things might have been. And I almost got passed up for this one, too, for Ninja Steel as well. I had to really? actually email them back and really state my case. And I'm like, yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. I, didn't know, I didn't know yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um yeah, I think it had been forgotten that I had done so much for the franchise, and I had to yeah. be. Remi- I, they needed to be reminded. I was like, "Hey, man, you remember I did 125 episodes of the <laughs> show and the movie, and I do 40 comic cons a year, and I say nothing but good things about you guys, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, you are a walking advertisement for them. Right? They're like, you know what? <laughs> yeah. You're right. You know. So that was cool. But yeah, you know, but I that's... definitely had to fight. That's definitely a statement there with you saying that um, you were resilient, you were you were motivated, you were driven to do that. And that's an yeah. encouragement to other people. Like, don't give up on what you want. Well, like, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Don't give up. But, but, but part of it is that, you know, it's like I've gotten so many like people saying, hey, when are you going to come back on the show? We'd love to see you right. back on the show. And I'm like, 
if you don't, you can't realize behind the scenes how hard I've been pushing for that. Right. You know, I even told them I would do it for free. You know what I mean? It's like, I'll totally wow. do it for free. I don't care. You know what I mean? So, you know, because I wanted to give back to the fans who always give so much. I mean, right. they always come out. They're always supportive. They always, you know, support us, you know, it, 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 by coming out and visiting us. But also in a financial, there's a financial component to that as well, too, because they come and they spend money, okay. you know, and that's great. I mean, how I would love to be able to give back when they want something like that, you know? Yeah, um, right. Sometimes it's the only it's way we can sad. give back, you know? So, um, yeah, so, yeah, I definitely pushed for it. Okay, yeah. we, we awesome. have, I'm, I'm going to let you guys know, we have a, a lot of super chats that have come in that have a lot of questions for you. And so, super chat, super so, chat. Let, <laughs> let me in. Wait, there we go. Let me in. I love that. <laughs> let me in. We're going to shorten the super chat dance like yes. we did for JDF. We're yes. just going to go super, super chat. chat. Bring, bring them up high. high. Perfect. Okay, got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right, Joan Fazio, another one of our, our members, because we want to try to get to all, well, we're going to get to all of the Super Chat questions, and once we pass those, if we still have time, then we'll make it to the other questions. So, and a shout out to our members out there, all of our members. Hey, with guys. The, the helmet uh, emojis and the badges and the lightning bolts, those are all of our members that you guys see in the Super Chat. So, you guys, we wouldn't be it. here without you guys. So, Joan says... Hey Steve, how you been? I want I want to meet you again on a brighter side. Would you ever be in the Buffy series? And how did you enjoy the role as the Red Ranger? <laughs> Is the Buffy series still going? I don't know. No. How I can oh wait, that. isn't there a new? Isn't there a new? No, no, that's Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Okay, never mind. I knew that there was a new um, one, but it would be great to be on the Buffy series. But who would who who would I be? Would I be a a character that already exists on there, or is it somebody totally new? That's a good question. I think you're the no. I think you're the new guy in town. That Buffy, I, you challenge oh yeah. Angel. So not Angel. Oh, I challenge no, Angel. You challenge Angel to a duel over Buffy. Yeah. <laughs> I think well, he yeah. just comes in and he's like, out. "I'm Steve Cardenas." Cardenas. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, again, coming into a series that already exists, you're just setting yourself up, you know, for everybody <laughs> to hate you. That, right? <laughs> yeah, been there, done that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, her second part of the question is, how did you enjoy the role of the Red Ranger, playing the Red Ranger? I mean, I, I enjoyed it very much. I mean, like, this, this is kind of an opportunity that, you know, people just don't get. I mean, right. if you think about all of the billions of people in the world, there's only about a hundred people that can say they've donned a Power Ranger costume out of, you know, four, bill, eight billion people in the world. I mean, that's a very, very, very small fraternity of people. So it's pretty special and really cool. So um, I, I was happy to be part of it all. You know, I mean, there were probably times you know, as probably you guys will remember, there were times, you know, when we were on set and, you know, we were like working so hard and they were working us like crazy and we were at each other's throat sometimes, you know what I mean? But as you look back and reflect, I mean, you don't remember all the bad things. You just remember all the cool shit that happened, you know, right. all the cool stuff that happened, you know? Right. So, uh, you know, um, so yeah, I mean, I, when I look back on things, I've, I think nothing but the fond stuff, you know, of course. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I think it's amazing. I, I think it's amazing that you wore such a popular color too, because red is always a popular color. Yeah. And, well, and, I mean, and well, that particular red too, you mm -hmm. know, because that one is the most iconic. When people think of red, when think of people think of Power Rangers, they think of that Harlequin suit with the red Tyranno helmet, and that's to them is their Power Ranger. That's Power Rangers, you know. Um, right. Either that or the Green Ranger. You know, yes. That's what they think of, you know? So um, so to have been able to wear that suit and be able to say, you know, hey, Google me. There it is. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> there I am. That's cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, you know, that there. and about $1.50 will get you some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another super chat. Super chat. Bring up high. Yeah. Okay. All right, Abel Uskanga, who is also one of our channel members, asks, um, Steve Cardenas, you are my favorite <laughs> of the world. Oh, oh. wow. Okay. Whoa. Nice. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> In the world. Like, like that's, oh, yeah. some, 
that you know in the world. Well, you certainly can't blame them, right? <laughs> <laughs> word, whoop whoop According word. To Alice. According to Alice, yes, yes. Okay, another super chat. Ready? Super chat. Super Raise chat. Them. Raise them up high. All right. This is Sky Hound. Zero zero okay, eight. Scott. Scott, you said? Sky Hound. Sky oh, Hound. Hound. Oh, Sky Hound. Sky Hound. Sky Hound. Oh, is that, is that like Skylanders? That's an inside joke. Oh, okay. Yeah. What was your viewpoint of episode 45 on Zio? <laughs> Oh, how do you expect me to remember <laughs> episode 45? You got to be a little bit more specific I'm gonna, than that. I'm going to look up. I'm going to look up what episode yeah. it was. Hold on. Uh, episode, episode 45. from Zio, which is actually going to be probably episode. Um, it's not. Is it, it's, is it episode 40? Were there 45 episodes of, of No, of there Zio? were 50. There were 50. There were 50. Were there 50? Yeah. There were yeah. 50. Okay. There were 50 episodes. Well, that means it's probably something toward the end, right? Zio is toward the end. All right, it was hold, toward on, the hold end. on, folks. I'm, hold on. We're, we're going to get Cats, this. We've got it. it. We've got episodes. I've, I'm on it. Okay. okay. Episode 45. Hold on. That's okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, that's why is it going up? Slower than before. <laughs> Go, Go Catherine. Catherine. <laughs> okay, there is not. No, it started at episode one fifty six. Yes, right. I was going to say episode forty five doesn't sound right at all. Yeah. Scroll all the way down. <laughs> we can. Let's try our math, Nakia. Yes. It, it's how about, be an episode one hundred and ninety something. Two hundred two hundred and five episodes. Yeah. Minus minus that. So he says it was episode forty five, and we started at episode one fifty six. Oh, so two hundred and five. So do the math. Wait a it's minute. Gotta so be episode uh, two hundred. Are you looking on IMDb? You're looking at IMDb. Wouldn't it just yeah. say because that, that just says fifty episodes? Oh, a miss a mystery. It's episode two hundred. You're right, Steve. A mystery to me. That's the one when I was when we did the Who Done It episode, and I was like. In, we were doing like a murder mystery. Oh, that um, was cool. Yeah, we had to figure. Steve he seems like, like I don't remember. <laughs> I don't even remember this plot or this storyline at all. Remember, I was with Agatha Christie, and you and you and you got lost in the house with Nakia and Vulcan Skull, and no. So I, I, oh, I remember I'm this so episode. Sorry, everybody, I do not remember. Give, enlighten me a little bit more. I mean, I, I don't I don't remember anything okay. about... We were at a table. Lieutenant Stone was there. The lights went out and someone was missing. Lieutenant Stone's missing. And we oh, had to so figure like out... Like an episode who... of Clue. Yes, exactly. That's oh, what it wow. was. Why do I and not we, remember You were one. dressed in a suit. We were all dressed up. Like, Kia was like Roaring Twenties with a boa. And I was like Agatha Okay, Christie something about class. that sounds familiar to me. Yes. And, something about my cuteness. Um, yeah. That's what it was. Something huh? about something about Kia and a flapper girl outfit. I'm like, hello. Yeah. I think I remember I'm that. Like, oh, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it was it was always fun to do something that was out of the ordinary. Yeah. You know, dressing I mean, up and yeah, right. Yeah, that was cool. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, yeah, I just I'm, I'm sad to say I don't remember this episode specifically, but I did love that they they dressed us up, but we're always like. Just in like blue blue shirts and jeans, you know. Right. Um, yeah. We got to do some. Now I, stuff. Um, were you were you in? Uh, you might have been in like a safari outfit. Does that sound familiar? I am. I, I am know. not. Remember. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm going on Netflix right after this. We should have done a Power Ranger playback of this. We should. <laughs> yeah. We're going to. Thank you, okay, and you're going to be a part of it. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair All enough. right. Another super chat. Ready? Super chat. Super, super chat. Raise the roof. Raise I mean, raise them high. God, I'm always getting it wrong. Sorry. No, no, we need to do super chat. Let me in. That was what oh, you right. said. Oh, right. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> um, cool Jammer J says, may the power protect you guys. And you as well. You as well. All right. Thank another you. super chat. Super chat. Uh, raise them high. Oh, I got it right. Yay! <laughs> All right, good. All right, this is one of our, our 
channel members as well. Allison Briggs, she says, uh, hi, Steve. Hi, how okay, did hello, you, hi. How did you hear about the role of Rocky and what was your audition process like? Do okay, you remember sure, yeah. anything about your first day on set? Yeah, I remember all of that stuff. So, um, so I was very familiar with Power Rangers because I was a martial arts instructor. So I started doing martial arts when I was like 12. I was a martial arts instructor at this point. Was, I was 20 and I was teaching kids classes and, um, kids would always come in and they'd be talking about Power Rangers. And I'm like, what is this Power Rangers? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> and I start talking about all these martial arts superheroes. And so I was a big fan at that time of martial arts movies and anything that was had to do with martial arts on TV. You know, I, I loved watching it. So I said, let me get into this show. I'm going to see what this is all about. I started watching the show. And funny enough, like, and again, I don't want to sound like a braggart in any way because it's not like that. Because I was like just saying it sort of jokingly, but I was looking at everybody doing all their flips and tumbles and kicks, and I was just sort of like, Psh, I could do that, <laughs> you know, but never dreaming that I'd actually ever get a part. But one day um, I was hanging out in my friend's, my friend's dad owned a pizza, a pizza shop, a pizza parlor, and we always used to hang out there and just like listen to music, and it was like our sort of peach pit, you know, sort of from 90210, <laughs> It was sort of our spot we used to hang out all the time. And uh, one of the delivery guys came in and was like, dude, I was just on a delivery right now. And I heard this commercial come on the radio and it said, we're looking for new Power Rangers and they're holding auditions on this weekend. And I was like, whatever, dude, You're messing with me. And uh, and then he was like, no, I'm not. I'm really not. They, a commercial came on the radio. Said we're looking for Power Rangers. They say they, they're looking for people that know how to do flips and that know how to do karate. And I was like, mm, interesting. Ooh. So I was like, <laughs> I better investigate. Let me see what's going on here. So I called up the local. I called up the local Fox Kids TV station. You know, it was channel. I don't know. It was Fox Five, or Channel Five, or something. So I called in and I was like, hey, um, is there some kind of audition that's that's happening? Like, Because at the time, Power Rangers was on Fox Kids, so it just made sense to call the local TV station and see, is this true? Right. And they were like, uh, yeah, we're actually, they're holding auditions. It'll be at KD Studios, which is a television studio, um, you know, space downtown, and it'll be from this time to this time. And just show up and show them what you know how to do. If you know how to do martial arts or gymnastics or hip-hop dancing, this is what they're looking for. Wow. And I was like, oh, wow. I hung up. So I was like, I put together this whole, like, routine. I was like, okay, cool. Because I used to do all these, you know, competitive um, martial arts routines and tournaments and things like that. You know, we'd have competitions where they would judge you just like they might judge a dance contest. You know, they would have, like, judges and they would give you points. they score points. So just like, you know, they would judge ice skating in the olympics they you know for based on your form and how you do how you how you perform they give you a, a, a score so i used to do these com competitive tournaments all the time so i was very familiar with that type of you know three people sitting at a table and you have to go out there and do your thing and make it as flashy as you can because the flashier the better so i was already kind of had that training in my mind so i said i'm just going to show them that you know, and I just I got there and I was like, we're feeling real confident. Right. When I got when I got there. But then as I pulled into the parking lot, there was literally like 5000 people <laughs> in the parking lot. And I'm not even exaggerating that number. There was literally 5000 people waiting in that parking lot. Yeah. And, I, and that's when I looked over that sea of people and I was like, no, there's no way. You know, so I just said to myself, I said, hey, you know what? It's like. I'm gonna go I'm out here. there and just show them what I know how to do, and if yeah. I if I get some, if I get some kind of interest or I make it to the next round, cool. If not, hey, at least I came I could came and say I tried. And so I went I did my I went to do my audition, and that's when I met Katie Katie Wallen and 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 a couple other direct casting directors that they had there. And they were sitting at the table, and they were eliminating people super fast. Like they, I mean, first of all, every, everybody only got thirty seconds to show them what you know how to do. But some people were getting like on the chopping block immediately. Like, are you 18? If you're under 18, raise your hand. Okay, great. Go. Bye. Like you couldn't audition if you weren't at least 18. Wow. So that started eliminating people quite a bit, thinning out the herd a lot. And then um, I remember it was my turn to do my audition. And I just like exploded into my routine. And I was like, 
you know, going for it. And I didn't even get to like the best bits. And they were like, okay, stop. And I was like, oh man, I'm cut already. I was like, I was like, I didn't even get to do anything yet. And they were like, no, no, no. Um, we want to do what's called a callback. Um, so, um, but it's going to happen today. So just go into this other room and wait for us to call you back. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So okay. I was like, ooh, a callback. I was like, ooh, that's so cool. And I was like, they're like, yeah, we're going to narrow it down from all these people. We're going to narrow it down to 30 people. And, and those 30 people, we're going we're gonna to let you audition again. And then we'll see. So I said, well, you know what? I made it to the top 30. If I, if I don't make it any further, at Amazing. least I can say I made that. Out of 5,000 yes. people, 30, yes. that's pretty dope. And so I just kept yes. telling myself this, you know what I mean? And then, um, so I, I did my, my second routine, the callback again. And then this did time, though, they put it on camera. So I got to do my whole routine thing? this time. Yeah, okay. I got to do my whole routine. And they put the whole thing on camera this time. And then they were like, okay, great. Thanks a lot. You know, we'll let you know. So then I just thought to myself, okay, yeah, I'm probably not going to hear anything. Um, but lo and behold, seriously, like, that that was on a Saturday. Then Sunday happened. Sunday went by. Nothing nothing happened. And then Monday morning. And seriously, guys, I swear. And this is in Texas, by the way. At 7 a.m., I get a phone call. What? 7 a.m. Oh. in the morning, which means it was 5 o'clock in the morning California time. Yeah. 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 I get a call. I said, hey, this is Katie from the audition from Power Rangers. And I was like, oh, hi. And they were like, well, look, we... We really liked your audition. Um, we basically went around and did a simultaneous auditions around the whole country at the same time. And we've picked three people from from New York, three people from Florida, three people from wow. Texas, and three people from California. And we're going to fly everybody in at the same time. Can you be at the airport tomorrow morning? We have a oh plane my ticket. God. And I was like, oh, crap. Okay, cool. They said, <laughs> just, pack, just pack a bag that's good for one day, you know? Because you could be gone, like, very quickly. We could be sending you right back. So I was like, okay, cool. So then I was like, wow. I went from, like, the like you know, whatever 30 times 5 was, like, 100, like, I narrowed it down to 120 people nationwide. So down, now they narrowed it down to 12. Hey, if I don't get any further than this, at least I made it to those 12, you know. So I just wow. kept telling myself that I was okay with, at this point, with wherever I got at this point, I could accept it because, you know, so, um, so then they, 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 they brought all, they flew all 12 of us in at the same time. And we all pulled into the Burbank airport and we immediately like got picked up from the Burbank airport and brought right to Saban studios where they had cleared out one of the conference rooms and turned it into a big audition room. And they were just mix and matching us, bringing in three at a time kind of thing, whatever. And, um, yeah, they chose crazy. the Texan. Yeah. Yes, they chose finally chose the, the Texan. Texan. Sorry, I've been I went way longer in this story than I thought I was going to. But no, yeah. it's interesting. Uh, yeah, it's and then they were like, they were like, okay, so congratulations, you guys are the new Power Rangers. Um, we need to get started filming right away, so um, you can't go home. <laughs> we got to keep you here. And I was like, what? I have one pair of underwear, one shirt, <laughs> one one pair of jeans. What do you want me to do? They're like, can you have your clothes mailed here? <laughs> we literally had to have our clothes mailed here. Johnny and Karen had to have their cars shipped by train to California. And all of our, my clothes got sent to me in a hefty bag. So <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh, wow. Yeah. They so, paid for uh, shipping and everything, well, right? They paid for the shipping. Yeah, of course. They, they paid for us to, to move. But, you know, that was about it. <laughs> wow. uh, but, yeah, so then they were like, we had to start filming right away. They said, we got to start filming right away. We're going to film for a month and a half. And then we're going to shut production down because you guys are going to Australia to do a movie. And I was like, ah! <laughs> what in the heck just happened in my life? I auditioned on a Saturday and by Wednesday I'm on the number one kid show in the world and I'm going to go do a movie. Like, That's crazy. It doesn't happen that way. Right. It doesn't happen no. that way. Anyone no. who's been in the audition world knows that's like lottery. It never does. That's like lottery that there. It was meant to be yours. Like that going, role was meant for that you. That is literally going and hitting a, a, six, a pick six in the lottery and winning. <laughs> you should have you gone know? to Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> should have. Yeah, that's wow. that's amazing. That is that is just proof that when something is meant to be yours, it it is like you can't stand in the yeah, way of, I, of yeah. destiny. I'm not a big fan of like you know destiny and fate and all kind of stuff like that, but for some reason or another, things just fell into place the right way. You know. Uh, yeah. At that, 
that moment that things just went my way, you know, and it was not like things were necessarily went my way all the time in life. You know, I was not one of those, you know, guys that cool things happen to really at all, you know. Um, but well, yeah, I just well, this to be did. Right place at the right time. Yeah, no, right. Yeah. Exactly. It did. Yeah. There anyway, was a, there wow, was a second, second, part, really to that. That. That's second okay. part to that. That's okay. We're going to go to the next question, which is another super mm -hmm. chat, so that we don't have you on here for a million years. All right. Okay, sorry. Yes. Super chat, raise them up. Yes. <laughs> okay, got it. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Thornton, I have a Red Ranger bandana. That Steve signed for me three years ago. Give me a thumbs up and I'll wear McCallan? it to work tomorrow. Was that one in McAllen? Oh, we don't know. We won't be able to answer the. He won't be able to answer the question, right? No. Is he in the live? Is there a live chat going? No? Yes, there's a live uh, chat, but I. Okay. I there's, yes, but we there's so many. We don't know because it was a pre 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 screen question. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Those bandanas actually, those are Henshin Vault, the same guy that makes all of our coins. He make these bandanas that have the Ranger helmet on them, and oh. you fold them half. And you just have the, the mask, bottom of the mask covering your face. Oh, so that's you look cool. like a, yeah, they're great cool. for Robin Banks. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said, can you give him a thumbs up? If you give him a thumbs up, he'll wear it to work tomorrow. Okay, yes, do that. Yeah, hey, this is the best time to wear those. We're gonna, exactly. Go to work in style with that now COVID mask. <laughs> it used to be a bandit mask. I used to call it the bandit mask. Right. Uh, another super chat from one of our team members, Larry Butler. Hello. Super chat. <laughs> raise him up raise him high. Up. <laughs> oh, raise him up high. Dang it. I get it wrong. <laughs> anyway, Hi, um, Steve. It's a pleasure to meet you. What was one of your favorite episodes that you did? Which Ranger color did you like more out of the out of your red and blue? Okay, so uh, to answer the second part first, I, I I like the red suit the best. I mean, we talked about it just a little bit ago. It is the most iconic. It's the most memorable. It's truly an honor to have worn that suit, you know. Um, so that's cool. Um, but that being said, Zeal was my favorite season to work on, oh. and probably like some of the mo more memorable episodes that um, <laughs> that I got to do was probably like the one where. When 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 Austin came in for his arc as the Gold Ranger, mm. and yeah. then Bulk and Skull were kind of like getting in my head about, hey, it looks like you might be losing your spot in the team, you know? Oh, so, yes. and, and I'm like, oh man, is this possible? You know? <laughs> and then it was like it started that 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 you know that that doubt started to turn into resentment, you know what I mean? And I'm like, I I need to prove myself, you know? So then I tried to take on yeah. Mondo, the the king of the Machine Empire, by myself. Which turned yeah. out to not be a Ooh. good thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't so. remember that episode. I don't either. Yeah, that's the one where, like, you know, we're in the command center and everybody walks out, and then I, I I'm, I'm walking out behind them and the door shuts on me, and I'm like, oh, and you're like, door? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, seriously? Yeah. I'm gonna like, I'm getting deleted out of the whole thing right now. <laughs> yeah, so it was kind of funny. Well, that's, that's the, funny. That's I like the, that. That's the thing with um, with shows, to be perfectly honest. You're here today and gone tomorrow. People lose their jobs all the time, and you just yeah. never know if something is written in. Because there's been many times when I've been on a show, and I'm like, well, I, I was on a show, and I think I've shared this before. My first job after Power Rangers was Smart Guy. It was a sitcom. There were two yeah. of us hired, and we were playing the girlfriends to the two leads. And so right. we did the practice in front of the producers and everybody the first day. The next day, after they saw, she was replaced. The other girl was replaced, and a new girl was there. And our um, dressing rooms were um, linked together, so we kept the door right. open because we got along really yeah. well. And yeah, I came right. in, and I was like, hey, 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 you're, <laughs> you're, uh, what you're sort of different. Is this? <laughs> yes. But it's, uh, a, you well, just. Man, it is a tough, fickle business. That's it is. For sure. It is, yeah. for sure. You know, and, and, and also, I mean, you know, I, I, I imagine, I know how it was for me after Power Rangers is over, you know, back then Power Rangers was considered a bit of a joke in the industry and no, yeah. no, no casting directors took us very seriously, right. you know? So it didn't matter that we might've had acting experience and we had a ton of actual on camera experience and all that stuff like that. People wouldn't even give us a shot very often because they just thought Power Rangers was so campy and so cheesy. Well, these guys can't possibly act because, right. you know. So yeah. um, it didn't matter that it was a popular show. 
it, you know, um, a lot of times we weren't really even given a chance to be doing any, to, to be able to get, you know, anything serious, you know? I mean, you guys right. kind of, you guys sort of did, but after Power Rangers was, was over, I never really get that many opportunities, you know? You had to prove yourself. Yeah. You definitely had to prove yourself inside of the room because Power yeah. Rangers was not, you know, yeah. it wasn't an uh -huh. acting Enough. job. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It gave you set experience. It gave you camera experience, but it didn't, you know, give you hardcore, you know, root acting experience. Right. And that's what right. you got but stereo just to, be, just to be biased Typecast. like that from yeah. the drop. That's all I'm saying. Is yeah. like, that was a huge obstacle to overcome. You know, um, so I, I I kind of lost my taste for acting as a result of that. You know what I mean? I was like, well, I've already got my martial arts studios. I'm just going to go in this direction because, you know. And that's okay. I'm not really because, getting money opportunities, you know. Right, right. No, but but you. So, but you had that to fall back on, exactly. like a lot yeah. Of well, luckily, thankfully, that. yeah. Thankfully, I did one smart thing with that movie money. <laughs> Amen. That yes. I opened up that school, and yeah. Uh, yeah, it was able to sustain me, and ultimately, it was able to give me the confidence to walk away from the show when I did, you know, because right. I wasn't worried about money, you know. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We so Steve, we anticipated having you for an hour. <laughs> oh, and has it been an hour? Already? No, it's almost an hour, but we still have like a lot of questions for you. It, it's up to you guys. If you want to keep going, we keep going. If if you if you if you have a I want to keep, no, no, no. okay, cool. keep going. No, no, no. We want to keep going. We ended up going. JDS ended However, up being two I hours. I need to leave to take <laughs> my son to swim again. Oh. <laughs> Okay, well, let's try to knock them out, and I'll make my answer shorter. Very, okay. very short. Go, 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 go. <laughs> this is great. First of all, thank raise you guys. Up, up. Chat, chat, chat. Thank you guys <laughs> for for sending. <laughs> thank you guys for sending in the super chats and being so supportive and and checking. You know, we wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. We wouldn't be able to go yeah. over an hour without you guys. So I just want to thank you. There, we're going to try to speed through yeah. this to get through thank all of these so questions. Much. So, um, Eric Hicks. Uh, Steve, hi. Why did you leave the show and the way you did? I felt you shouldn't have left until after Turbo. As a kid, I was so hurt. Right. Yeah. Well, the, you know, the, the the truth is I was supposed to be in Turbo the entire movie, and I was supposed to be in Turbo for the whole season, and then at the end of Turbo, all of us were being let go. Right. Um, so, um, but there was, like, some contractual things that were happening where – certain people that had been on a bit longer were getting paid a bit more and that's fair. But at the same time, I felt like, you know, we were all putting in the same amount of work at this point. And I just said, Hey, look, I just want the whole team for this last year because it's the last year that we're all going to Together. be on the show. And then we're all gone. Anyway, I would like us all to make the same amount for this last year. And they just couldn't see their way fit to do that. So I was like, well, then I'm, I'm, I'm going to go, you know, because it's like, you know, it's, it, we're doing all the same amount of work and it's supposed to be favored nations. And at this point we should all be getting paid the same. Right. And right. we weren't. So, um, you know, I tried to went to bat and I did, I did ask for everybody. I didn't say just me. I was like, I would like if all of us, all of us to get the same for this last year. Cause we're all going to be gone anyway. You know, and it's not like it was going to be break their bank in any way. Right. Well, we were getting paid, you know. Um, so for them to just be that flat out know about it, you know, then I kind of saw, you know, what the other guys went through as well. And I, I really felt for them at that point. And I was like, well, I think it's time for me to go. OK, great. You can go, but we need to write you out. So can you at least be in the movie for a little bit so we can try to introduce a new character? I said, fine. And wow. that, that was it. Right. I don't yeah. I didn't. I don't think I knew that. I, yeah, this well, is... I mean, I, I mean, I, unless they're talking crap about me, you know, I mean, like I, you know, I, I didn't really feel like I wanted to try to like let people ne necessarily know everything that was going on either, you know? Wow. Um, well, thank you for going up to bat for all of us. <laughs> like I didn't even know 26 years later that that was part of what happened. I didn't even know that. That was, that was the sole whole entire reason that I left. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, yeah. you heard it first here with me. There it is. <laughs> yeah, there yeah. it is. Oh, wow. Okay, another super chat. Super, super chat. chat. Raise them up. Raise them up high. Uh, <laughs> All right. What was the most funniest episode that you recall from either Zio or MMPR 
Besides episode 45 of Zio. <laughs> Besides episode 45 of Zio? Well, you know, there was one that I, I hate but everybody loves so much, which is Rocky Just Wants to Have Fun. And that one was like, it was just weird for me, but for only because mentally I have a mental block about it because it was just weird to see myself on camera for the first time like that. That was the first episode I saw. But by the time, by the time, you know, Zio rolled around, you know, they were having me doing all kinds of goofy stuff, you know? I mean, I remember I was a runway model wearing these big, crazy, goofy golf pants with a big, <laughs> weird hat, you know? <laughs> I just remember, you know, just some weird I remember stuff. that episode. Yeah, you remember that one? Where yeah. It's like, you know, it was like, whatever. They're just going to throw me in all kind of weird stuff, you know? Um, so, yeah, that was a fun episode. And, and there was a few, like the plant one, you know, getting to do, getting to kind of explore. What about, what about yeah. the one where you were, um, we were in the movie and you, we, we had the togas and you were trying to be like. Oh, yes, right. Movie. That one was a fun one, <laughs> yeah. too. We were like, we were yeah. extras in the movie or something, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And then the machine guys tried to come at us and I had to like, I remember I tried to whistle. I'm like trying to whistle for you guys or something, right? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I can't whistle <laughs> like that. I'm like, dang it. That was <laughs> yeah, fun. That was fun. Yeah. Actually, we, yeah. Kat just posted that picture, I think, on our pages um, yeah. of the three Oh, the of one us. With, with us? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I had yeah. some weird blue mask on and an orange suit, orange yeah. jumpsuit. <laughs> yeah, you had to be, you filled in for the lead or something. You were his oh, understudy right. or something. Yeah. Love it. Love Funny. it. Yeah, that was fun. All right. Super, super chat, chat. Super chat. Move on to the next one. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hey, Steve. This is Matthias Rodriguez. Hey, Steve. We love you and Rocky as well. Could you send some love for our group, Morphin Postagem, Postagem oh, here in Brazil? It means a lot to yes. us. Yes, I knew that when you heard, when I heard the name Matthias, I knew that was uh, that was uh, that was that was Brazilian. So, uh, uh, muito, uh, how do you say? Um, muito obrigado, Brasil. Um, to the bam. <laughs> Much love. Thank you, guys. Uh, for everything like you guys have gotten so much support i've been to brazil four or five times because there's just so much love over in brazil they just they oh. love power rangers over there so much so i've gotten the opportunity you know um to go and be be part of like the brazil fandom over there a few times and it's pretty amazing that's, that's we, awesome. we, as, we were supposed to go he and yeah. i got contacted about that so we're hoping to get there sometime in the next few years it'll happen yeah will happen for sure. Kisses COVID to will Brazil. die and things will open back up for sure. God yes, willing. Thank you, Brazil. All right. It's Samora, which is one of our channel members. Super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Raise, Raise them up high. high. Steve, three years ago, you impressed my boss by making a short video for my graduation at university. I finally met you in Seattle and Vegas. Do you remember that video by chance? Um, for I university? Was. I I think I rem I remember meeting somebody that it, it, the same person in 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 Vegas, but I, I I don't remember what the video was about, like exactly. That's I mean, okay. I know I made a video for somebody, a video shout out kind of thing, but I don't I don't know the specifics of I don't remember the specifics of the of the video. But and I'm you're glad forgiven. I impressed your boss, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and you're I, forgiven. I, I <laughs> Nice. Right. Super chat, super chat. Raise them up high. And this is April. April is one of our channel members, and she also designed, if you guys look in our left corner, it says new merchandise. This is our team membership. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. She designed this. Um, designed this. It says Power Rangers Playback Team Membership. We have long sleeve and short sleeve. This is the Miss Designer. I just wanted to give her a shout out. Miss April. All right, Miss April yes. says. Hello. 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 Hey. Hello. Hey, Steve. Hope London is treating you well. I'll have your Red Ranger face mask at the end of the week. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she designed I the eat face that mask. Red Ranger. Yeah, she, um, I think I know who that is um, from Dallas. That is, uh, yeah, black, black region. Yes. yes, and she makes the uh, the COVID masks, and I have yes. A, yes. I have Zio one, but I'm still holding. I'm waiting for the the the, the, the Red Ranger one. So yes, thank you. Yay! Yes, Appreciate we have a, we have a Zio and we have a Turbo one from from April as well. Yeah, yeah. All right, nice. this is Nathan. Nathan, super chat. 
Super okay. chat. Raise them up. Raise them up high. <laughs> Uh, Red right. Buick is also one of our channel members. Hey, lovely ladies and Steve. I just want to say I have met or interacted with all three of you. Um, you're all class acts. Oh, thank oh, you. Nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Nate. Yeah. Always so supportive. All right. Gotta love that. Rosen. Super chat, super chat. Raise them up. <laughs> I like his. He's like, raise them up. Oh, I like that. I'm going to have to do yeah. that one. Um, <laughs> What was this? What was this? <laughs> that, Steve, Steve's mind just went somewhere else. Stop it. No, it didn't. She did it. I was just... I was just... Hey. <laughs> All right. Steve, you, you're an absolute legend. Great to see you on here. Which martial arts do you practice and who is your inspiration? Yeah, good. All good questions. Um, so specifically, I do Taekwondo and I do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. But my main focus now is BJJ, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, and a lot, my one of my big inspirations, of course, was Bruce Lee. And one of my favorite movies growing up was The Karate Kid because I just related to that movie so much. Because I was a young kid that got bullied all the time, and I just wished I could learn karate. And then I found an instructor that was willing to teach me for free and. You know, that's how my whole career took off. So wow. you were bullied, huh? Yes, I was bullied? bullied. Yeah, I was I a kid who like did not have very good social skills, and I tried to make friends. I moved around a lot of when I was younger, and I tried to make friends, and people just did not like. They were not digging my steez, okay? They were not digging my style, you Aww. know. And oh, I used to wow. get punched in the face a lot. <laughs> oh. Really? Oh, yeah, it was weird. We should have been weird. friends, cause I would have been there for oh. you. Oh, I appreciate that. Well, Seriously. You say that now, but... <laughs> no, no. I don't know. Kids are mean. Kids are mean. And they, they don't tend to generally, you know, try to stand out from the crowd too much. If everybody's making fun of... If one per, you know, if they're making fun of one person, most kids tend to do that. That wasn't to join me. The I wagon. promise to God, in high school, well, I that's was why always... We all get, that's why yeah. we got along so well, because you, you saw that. I, I would in. always stand up for, for those that were in need. If anybody was being bullied, I literally would always stand up for them. Because I, I cannot, that, that is one of my things that, that irks my nerves yeah. the, the worst, is, is a yeah. bully. Well, you know, we grew up in times where they, the, 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 the faculty of, of the school would still used to smack us. You know what I mean? Right. Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, they would never get away with that now. But we had, we used to we get had my principal the have the cane. Yeah. My, my principal had the cane hanging in his thing, his switch. And you'd go in and be like, I never got in trouble because I was a good girl. But he would switch He would switch their knuckles. They literally used to do corporal punishment yeah. like that. They yeah, would literally they spank us if we were yeah. misbehaved in school. So crazy. How not, would they ever get away with that now? They never would. Not in California. Uh, they weren't whipping well, anybody. Well, not anywhere. <laughs> no, no. When we were young, we we only got whipped by our parents. My my brother was always in trouble, so my parents would go there and open up a can of whip ass, for real. Right. Well, <laughs> well in you, Idaho, you, you, there was you many a principal that smacked me on the behind. Yeah. Wait, uh, you guys Nikia, were both talking. Nikia, I said, Nakia, you were in your underoos with your <laughs> Wonder Woman belt whipping your brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That is true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> All right, Caleb Pace, one of our channel members. Super Chad, raise him up high. So this one is for all of you. What was the favorite episode you all had fun shooting together? I could think of one that was, it was an episode about Nakia, but it was cool for me because I got to make the winning catch from the oh, team when we played baseball. Remember Rangers that one? in the outfield. Yes. Yeah, that one was a fun one because yeah. I, for one, can, in real life, can't can't pay baseball worth a crap. <laughs> so to be able to be that look that good and climb up and run up the fence and jump and make the winning catch for the team. Yes. But it was an um, episode about Nikia, but I got to it was got Rangers prominently in featured in that one. <laughs> yes, you sure did. <laughs> um, I really liked filming um, different, uh, not different shade of thing. Um, what was it called? The, uh, diff, uh, the snow one no business like snow business because we oh. got to go to skiing so that was really fun i liked that one and yeah, then i really I loved i didn't go skiing with you guys on that one there no, was like we got broken apart didn't we no yeah. it was me i didn't go me, either jason and david me yeah. jason and david um and then i liked the, the uh, another song and dance the one where um 
Yeah, Nikia, Nikki, Nikki and JDF, and JDF had to sing. <laughs> yes, I like that one was fun funny. to film. We had we all had fun on that one. Do you remember yeah. that one, yeah. Steve? Do you remember how nervous Jason was? Yes, I remember. <laughs> yeah. Um, I enjoyed I enjoyed Rangers in the Outfield. That was like, I think probably like episode four or five. It was very new. I was very new on the show, and I you know I was a baseball girl. I played baseball. As some of the my fans know, I played baseball, so that was being able to to actually do it live on tele. Well, not live, but in an episode yeah. was a lot of fun. But another yeah. song and dance and a song sung yellow, where Steve and Johnny were part of the video. Remember when I had a music video? I was making a music video, and we were at Malibu yes. Beach. Yes, that was fun too. That was fun. Yes. Yes. I oh, I liked the one where you you and Johnny were. I was teaching you guys ballet. Do you remember that one? Oh my God! You no, I don't Johnny, remember that one. Oh. Johnny was in my ballet. I plead the fifth. One, two, three, <laughs> no, I don't remember. I don't it remember really that cute. one at all. I plead, the, I plead the fifth. That's funny. <laughs> Real man do <to> ballet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, super chat, Star Raven. Super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Raise them up high. Um, Star Raven is also <laughs> another one of our channel members. Hey, girls. It's an honor to meet you, Steve. You're one of my top favorite Rangers. My question is, what's your favorite moment being a part of Power Rangers? Uh, I mean, it's really hard to pick a favorite moment, don't you think? I mean, it, it, you know, there's so many, like, interesting things that happened. I mean, I think it's really hard to, to, to pick a favorite, you know? Um, there's, maybe, there's maybe so many memorable things. I mean, doing the movie, I mean, you know, of course the, the ones that are the most memorable is of course, just that, that sentence, you know, that said, Hey, congratulations. You're the new power Rangers. We're going to film for a month and then we're going to Australia to do a movie. And by the way, you can't go home. So you have to get your clothes mailed to you. I mean, you know, all in one sentence, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. You know, that's, you know, yeah. that's certain. Very exciting. And you're not going to uh, make any money. <laughs> well, yeah, they definitely told me that, too. <laughs> and they stuck true to their word on that one. <laughs> I was like, yeah. somehow I'll win them over. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> not going to happen. Nope. <laughs> All right. um, but, you know, there was a lot of cool things, too. Like, you know, things that I, I look back and be like, wow, you know what? Like, like when kids would come to the set from the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and it's like... Mm -hmm. You know, it's really sad and heartbreaking that, you know, they're not going to be around much longer. But the one thing we could do is, you know, take some pictures of them and show them around the set and, yes. you know, make them feel special like that. That to me was like yeah. always so cool. I, I always yes. really felt so good about that. You know, I mean, you know, it's I figured it's the very least that we could do for all the cool stuff that, you know, we were getting to experience, you know. So I came across um, a picture in one of my albums when Nikki and I just kind of opened up our boxes and we're looking through mm -hmm. all our paraphernalia. And yeah. I came across a picture of all of us. It was us and Johnny. I don't know where Jay was, but um, we were at a hospital visiting yeah. some kids. And it <clears throat> was really, really cool. We were at a children's hospital. So, yeah, those moments were really special to me, too. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how can it not be, you know? Um, you know, I mean, even though they were kind of sad, it was still, you know, pretty, you know, it was still pretty cool. It was very cool, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you get to do that one special someone's... thing for somebody that's yes. not going to be around much longer, you know? That was so. their wish. Yeah. 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 Their last wish. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, next one. Yeah, all right. Super chat, super chat. Rack them all up. Super chat, super chat, super chat. Raise them up. Hi. Kenny Shibata, one of our channel members. Hey, Steve, it's nice to meet you, meet with you finally. Hi, Kat and Tia, nice to see you again. Hi, Kenny. Hi. All right, Joe Bolingbroke, Super Chat, raise them up. Hi. Raise them up. Hi. Hello, everybody. It's Joe from the Ranger Chamber team based in Brighton, UK. Great to see oh, everybody. Brighton, lovely. Brighton, lovely. Yeah, I think I'll I think I'll be doing a con. I mean, I, I think I'll be doing a, a a comic book shop in Brighton very soon. I'm working out the details right now, but yes, go ahead. Question, please. Cool. Maybe you can have a spot of tea together. Maybe a cup of, a spot we call of it a cup. Of, we call it a cup. Oh, a cup. Of, no, cup we. Of tea. He a cup said of. we call it. We. He's al he's we. already assimilated. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I just need my British flag tattoo across my yeah. arm. Yeah, good. <laughs> you need to send me some galaxy chocolate. Okay, I'll look out for that. Yum. Probably, 
<laughs> it'll probably take a month to get there. Yeah. And uh, it'll be right. rotten by then. But yeah, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. So, what was chat. Brighton's question? Oh, that he was just saying hello. Oh, he was just saying what up? Yeah, okay, he cool. was what saying up? what up. Oh, actually, this is not a good thing to do in England. We got to go like this. Oh, why? <laughs> Chugging up that? the juice this way it means, means piss off. off. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's yeah. good yeah. to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Nikia, Nikia, when you pose in pictures like this, yes. you're really telling, Basically, telling everybody to piss off. <laughs> yeah. That's not good. It's like. Winston Churchill did that in one of his. Uh, he was he did a V for victory, but he did it this way. And oh they no! Were like, oh, got everybody to piss off. <laughs> <laughs> Even back in the day. All politicians right, were, Joan. Politicians were faux pines. Joan Fazio. <laughs> anyway, super chat, super chat, super raise them up, raise them up, raise them up high. You remember me as I was off from Ranger Stop in Orlando, Florida, three years ago or or ago. I was a guy with long hair, now a female named Joan. Okay, yes. Okay, yes, I remember. Yeah, hi. Joan, Remembering that's one Joan's one of our members. Yes. Oh, hi Joan. Um okay. yeah, would was there a question to it too or no, just that was just it? No, she's just saying okay. you remember me cuz she Hello. was actually she actually said something earlier and then this is I guess um just a, a rebuttal like to it just yeah, an add-on. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Yellow Ranger, right? Oh, wait. I, took I think it off. you are the Yellow Ranger suit. Okay. Well, that's even better. Yellow representing the yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, All I right. I'm wrong about that. I'm just, maybe I'm just guessing. <laughs> Sorry. You have five Anyways, choices. So All super right. Super chat, super chat. Raise them up high. Chris Coca, one of our channel members. Just want to say it was awesome to get to meet you in Detroit. You are my favorite Ranger growing up and still are. You were the first Power Ranger I got to meet in person. So Chris actually sent us a picture. He was wearing a Power Rangers playback shirt, and he came to oh, visit yes, you. Yes, yes. yes that's I remember. Chris. At the comic book shop, he came to see me. Yeah, yes. I saw it. Yeah, yeah. I noticed it. Yeah. Yes. I remember him. Good yes. to see you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I totally remember that guy, yeah. <laughs> All right. Chanzo Tambuzi, one of our channel members. Super chat. Super Raise him up high. Super chat. Raise them up, raise them up. Zombies all around me. I'll be hacking them all up. What? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, hi, Steve. I got coasters three years ago in Illinois at a small con. I love them and make people use them. Were you ever going to leave Turbo the same time everyone else did? You kind of answered that, but if you can. Right. Uh, yes, the coasters. Remember the coasters that I used to do with the power coin coasters? Yeah, they those were, were tight. cool. Those were tight. Oh, wait, I yeah. don't remember those. I'll have to see They're them. They're really cool. They're like yeah. metallic. Yeah, they were really they cool. they were they were leather coasters that were laser engraved with the co mm. power coins on them, and they really were cool. T I T E. You don't you don't <laughs> buy them anymore, or you don't sell them anymore? No, I don't have my laser engraver guy anymore that can uh. make those for me. So um, I might have to commission Susio where to make them, but we need to find new coasters that are going to work properly in order to make that. But yeah, I just haven't had the time because I've been doing. You know, I would like, I always try to like, like there's some guys like Mighty Gems Unlimited. I try to get some gems from them and sell those. I got the power coins I get from Henshin Vault. I'll get some, you know, masks that I get somewhere else made. And, you know, so I try to like spread you know, it out. Spread out. Yeah. Spread exactly. the love. Yeah. The new one coming up is resins, y'all. Have you seen those yet? Yeah, they're amazing. Resins. Yeah. The guy here in England that makes those yeah. pops. Oh, yes, but yes, yes. Super yes. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Anyways, so uh, now that I'm in the UK, I will be pushing those. I will be peddling those. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Cyril. Super chat, super chat. Raise them up. Raise them up high. Cyril Moore, what's your favorite scene of the first movie? Well, um, well one, of my, one of my favorite scenes of the first movie is the one that got cut out. Um, we were just like doing this cool training sequence in this Japanese gardens, which was really cool. And that got all cut out of the movie. Um, but, um, the, the Tango warrior fight scene in the, at the rocks in Kayama, uh, Kayama beach. That was really cool. Um, and you that did was, that split. That oh, was the splits awesome. thing was awesome too. Yeah. Yeah. The splits. yeah. yeah. That's that all was, camera yeah. magic, by the way, even though I really did the splits. I didn't jump up into the splits. I was already in the splits. The spear was already stuck in the tree 
and then they yank uh, the, they yank the spear out, and then I jump down, and then they reverse uh, the film. Reverse it. Camera oh, magic. But I gotta tell you, it looked T I T E. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Yes, it did. It did. So All right. go and watch that again, and when you see that again, everybody, you're gonna see it's reversed. Yeah. This is just a shout out uh, to Beat Matic Unleash. Super Chad, raise him up high. Raise him up high. He Hello, has, thanks for the shout out. Andrew has been, Andrew Beatmatic has been just supportive throughout the years. He used oh. to be on my team back in the day when I had a team and he always reposts and just thank you so much for the love, Andrew. All right. Next looking one. Looking out. Rain. I have about five minutes before I have okay, to take my cool. kids. All right, to let's swim. do like three or four more, and then we can <laughs> break it out, break on out of here. I guess. Well, if if it's okay, I'd like to finish the super chats because these are people that have paid for it. So yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So cool. yeah, no if problem. Kat has to leave, then then we'll just continue. We had to do the same thing with JDF. Okay, um, that's fine. Okay, no so right. Super Chat, raise them up high. Raise them up, raise them up. Ranger Chamber, hey Ranger Nation, from us to you. They just give a shout out to Ranger Nation. Ranger Nation, love Ranger, Ranger Nation. Nation. That's yes. the whole the whole world is Ranger Nation. We should start changing that to Ranger World. <laughs> yeah, because oh, yeah, Ranger, Ranger Nation is not enough. We yeah. worldwide, baby. Act like y'all don't <laughs> <Yeah>. know. <laughs> Seriously. See, I was, his whole tone changed. Like he was from Man, the Buddha song. You thought I was just seven oh seven and four oh four worldwide. Act like y'all don't know. <laughs> All right, super chat, super chat, raise super him up chat, high. Super chat, raise him up high. So Abel Escuganga is also one of our channel members. He says, "Cats singing Angel Grove for me." And my family. I guess, Kat, can you sing just a, like a phrase of Angel Girl High? at Angel Grove High. And here we ride at Angel Grove High, High. And we'll take on all the limits and the obstacles of the rows ahead. The ways ahead are always, they're always bright. Angel Grove. Hi, 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 Angel Grove. Hi, 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 Angel Grove. Hi, 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 Angel Grove. Hi. <laughs> I said a phrase. She sang the Sorry. whole song. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that took her whole five minutes. Wow. Thank you, Kat. Amazing. That was beautiful. You loved it. You loved it. That Don't was, you act so sassy. I was that digging was it. beautiful. Was we were digging. dancing. I was, I was, I, and I was keeping with the beat, too, Nikita. Did you notice <laughs> yes, that? Yes, I did. I saw that. He was handling it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dunamis Prime. Super Chat. Raise him up. Super Chat. Super Chat. You are all awesome. When you have time, you should check out the acapella cover of the MMPR theme by... Triforce Films. I feel Ooh. like I've seen that before. Wow. I feel like I've seen some kind of acapella um, Power Ranger medley of some kind. Okay. Mm. Well, all right. Moving right along. I think we're doing good. Eyes on there. Sai, ai, ai, ai. Okay. Anyway. Go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bolton Biggs, one of our channel members. Super Chad. Raise him up high. Hi, Steve. What Hello. was your favorite episode in MMPR and Zio? Um, well, I would say probably, um, you know, oh God, there were so many. The, the one we were talking about before when I was in the orange suit with the blue mask, the one where I got to be a movie star for the day, that mm -hmm. was pretty fun. Um, there was also one that I got to do where um, the, the football monster attacked um, this was like football the, the football, uh, fourth and long it was called. And my, my uncle was a football player or something. And said this football monster, this football Ooh. in the field turned into a monster and attacked my uncle and kidnapped him or something. And I don't know, it was, uh, and I was like, you messed around with wow. the wrong ranger lace face or whatever. <laughs> uh, crazy like that. So. Lace face. I love oh, it. Yeah. I love That's it. Crazy. I've got to go. Okay. But Maybe I'll be back and I'll get to see you again. Because yes, who knows? Absolutely. They might, you might be with us. Sorry that my time. questions ran so long. Sorry no, about that. Billy, it's, it's no, good. this is what it's about. They love hearing from you and we're so grateful to have you on the show. 
Love you. Love you. Take care. Okay. I'll All be right. back. Okay. All right. See you later. Yeah, we'll still be doing the questions by the time you get back. <laughs> All right. All right. And then there were two. Okay. This is Kirsty Biglicky. And this is Scott's wife. You've met her. Yes, you were right. the yes, family. Yes, yes. Of she course. says, we hello. About them. Hello, Steve. Just want to. Oh, super chat. Raise them up chat, high. Chat, raise them up high. Yeah. Hello, Steve. Just want to say a massive thank you for being for uh, for everything you have done for me and Scott since the first time we met you. You make us feel so lucky. You will always be our special friend to us. We love you, Steve. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you guys are awesome. Thank you. And I am, is that? I am looking for our next one. I'm looking for our next one. Oh, oh, I'll see you for a second. You're cutting oh, out just cut a little out. bit. Yeah, I was noticing that too. I'm so sorry. Now you're better. Oh, you're cutting out. Uh, better? Okay. Yeah, you're better now. All right, this is Jacoby show. Super Chad, raise him up high. Super Chad, raise him up high. Hope everyone's well. Steve, congrats on joining us permanently. Hey, In the UK? Okay. Yes. <laughs> hey, Kat Nakia, would you be down to sign my leg when you're next in UK? Well, I'm sure Kat will say yes as well when we're in the UK. But yeah, that would be really cool. Who is this, Jacoby? The Jacoby Show. Yeah, oh yeah, Jacoby. Of course, buddy, mate, we need to hang out soon, all right? I'll tattoo your other leg <laughs> with the <laughs> Zio helmet. <laughs> that would be really cool. Does he have like a lot of Power Ranger uh, tattoos on? No, we, okay, so, so Jacob, um, he does all of our tattoos. He's done Alice's tattoos. He did Alice's lightning bolt oh. on her wrist. He did Blake's samurai on his stomach. He, he does all of our tats whenever I we come into town. Okay. And so it was myself, it was Azim, it was Ciara, um, it was, uh, Jeff Perrazzo, um, and Kevin Duhaney. We all tattooed our helmets and signatures on his leg. We tattooed them on him. Oh, wow! And it's really, it's a very cool. He's got he's got it up on his page. It's really cool. Check out the Jacoby show. It's awesome. Oh yeah, Jake, Jake we're gonna see you soon, buddy. Okay, Allison, I miss you for sure. I, I would love to. Um, Abel Uskanza again, super chat. Raise him up super high. Chat, raise him up. Raise him up. Steve, what is your favorite of Power Rangers? Favorite what? Okay, you're breaking up just a little bit again. Episode? You're breaking up just a little bit. Oh, again. you're breaking up too. It's not. Oh, shoot. Okay. Hello? Hello? Hello, Clarice. Can't hear me? I can hear you. Oh, you got me. Okay, cool. All right. Yes, go is ahead. That, is, does it sound any better? Uh, keep talking. Okay, does it sound any better now? Yes, Hello? yes, oh, okay. yes. So just what okay. is your what is one of your favorite things about Power Rangers? Anything. I'm sure you well, may have... Okay, you know what? I, 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 when I think about Power Rangers, just imagine you're like a four-year-old kid, right? And you all of a sudden, just this big old explosion comes in front of the TV, and then this big colorful logo jumps out at you. Then this rock music starts playing, and you see all this martial arts and dinosaurs and bright colors and robots and monsters and aliens and spaceships and all kinds of crazy stuff all packed into 22 minutes. How could, like, you know, what an overload for somebody. You right, know what I mean? Right, right. So you can see the appeal when you look at it from that perspective, you know? And then it also has, like, a good message at the end, you know? So... Power Rangers is just effing cool, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's just, you know, what a what an amazing, you know, thing to be a part of. Like I said, you could be known for a lot worse. <laughs> well, I just think it's incredible that it's been over twenty seven years and that people yeah. still remember us and remember our characters, yeah. and it's an absolute it's, blessing. Yeah. Huge, you know. I mean, you know, I, I I feel like the resurgence came at the right time. Social media and comic cons blew up together at the same time, you know, with Facebook, Instagram and all that stuff were all happening at the same time that cons started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it became cool to be a geek and not so much, you know, yeah. an outcast. Yeah. And, and that's when it was like people were just not afraid to like, you know, let their freak flag fly a bit, you know what I mean? And say, hey, I'm a Power Ranger fan. Yeah, let's, you know. And then they started turning up for the events and stuff, and it's really cool. And it's so, amazing, yeah. To, to, to perfect storm. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. super chat. Raise them up high. 
This is RX Superstar. Hope all is well. Steve, can you tell us about the uh, oh, Pachinko game episode? And do you know how to play Pachinko? I absolutely do not know how to play Pachinko. All I know is it's basically like a, a, a straight up and down pinball game, a Japanese pinball game. Um, and that's all I can liken it to. Um, and I didn't really know how to play the game. So even though I was playing the game, it wasn't really like doing, <laughs> you know, it wasn't scoring or anything like that. Um, that's movie magic. Yes. Um, but yeah, I absolutely do not know how to play Pachinko. Neither do I. So I can't even yeah. help on that, that uh, yeah. front. <laughs> all right. Just a couple but more. I, I, it's very much like playing pinball. Pinball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why can't I think of pinball? It's, it's, it's Japanese pinball. Oh. Pinball is the way you pull the ball and the little silver oh, ball bounces yes, around yes. all over the place. Okay. That's pinball. Yeah. That's, and right. that's what a pachinko machine is. But instead of being flat this way, it's straight up and down. Okay. So maybe like Plinko, you know, when you drop the little things from the yes. top. Yes. Price is right. Kind of like that. <laughs> yes, like Price is right. Yeah. Plinko, right. Pachinko. It's the same. Anyway, go. Uh, Star Chat, Raven. Chat, raise them up, raise Thank them you up. for remembering. Um, Steve, it was an, an honor to meet you. This is Star Raven, oh, one of our channel you. members. I hope Hello. to meet you in person one day. Girls, I'll see you later. Have a great afternoon. Have a great one, everyone. Oh, okay. Bye, Star. Guess he had Bye, to go. Star. PMC. PMC. He had to go. I'll be back. I'll come back to the States for Power Morphicon in June. Well, you're breaking up again, my love. Oh, my I'm so sorry. I have no idea what this is happening. Um, I'm so sorry. Can you hear me at all? Yeah, now you're good again. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, I was in, I was saying, I'll, you know, she said, I hope I meet you. I said, I'll be at Power Morphicon. I'll fly back to the States for Power Morphicon in June. Okay. So Star is, Star is a guy. So just so you know, Star Raven, one of oh, our one of our channel yeah. members. Uh, Christopher okay. Wadden Holmes, one of our channel members. Super Chad, raise him up. Yeah, raise him up. Hi. Um, hi, Red Ranger. Welcome to London. Which British science fiction character would you like to see a team up with? Doctor Who, James Bond, or someone else? And which villain would you like to fight? That's a very good question. Ooh, yeah, those are good questions. Um, so, okay, I'm I'm definitely more partial to 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 James Bond um, over Doctor Who. Um, uh, so I think James Bond would be who I'd like to do a team up with and all the best villains are British. How can I choose? <laughs> <laughs> They're all Brits. <laughs> all the best villains are Brits. I have no idea. Um, although I will say in the James Bond films, I think one of the ones that I found to be most sinister was, um, uh, Javier Bardem, his character in, in, um, in, was it? I think it was it Spectre. No, it wasn't Spectre. It was um, uh, gosh, I can't remember which one it was. I'm drawing a blank. Not Quantum of Solace. One of those ones. Anyway, if you haven't seen Javier, Javier Bardem as the villain in James Bond with the one with Daniel Craig, it's really good. Yeah. Okay. And which which villain would you like to fight? I would. I would like to fight Javier. The the character Javier Bardem. Oh, okay. With, okay. Uh, his character. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. mean. Yeah. Look at you, Mr. Movie Man. All right. Mm -hmm. Michael Smith Davenport. Super chat. Raise him up high. Super chat. Raise him up. Raise him up. Happy to see your channel growing. Oh, thank you, Michael. And oh, thanks so oh, much. Thanks. He just wanted to give a shout out. Yeah, your channel is growing great, by the way. That's awesome. I'm just, you know, I, I just have to give a shout out to everybody out there because yeah. it wouldn't be growing without Ooh. them. So, Big Licky Studio, Scott. Uh, what is the Red Ranger's favorite film, Rocky? Again, those are those are such hard questions, you know, because, you know, I, I have movies that stand out to me, but I don't think I have an all time favorite movie, you know, um, other than I would say the Karate Kid, the first Karate Kid movie from 1984, because that was the one that introduced me to martial arts on film, so to, so to speak. And, you know, it was the one that really motiv motivated me to want to learn to be a martial artist. So that one sticks out a lot for me. Do you watch Cobra Kai? Yes. Okay. Yeah. My my yeah. um. I kn yeah, I knew I knew Billy Zabka pretty well, the guy who was the back Johnny in in the Cobra Kai, and so I kind of knew that he was doing this project before, way before it ever started. So, 
He's such a be, sweet a guy. Child. He is so mm-hmm. different than his character. It's oh, so yeah, for sure. like when when I met him, I was kind of taken back because I always think yeah. you know you, you meet you meet a person and you're like oh my gosh are they similar to their characters that way they were hired complete opposite. Uh, oh yeah, he's yeah. just he's really an nice amazing guy. guy. Really really nice. Yes, he is. Um, Chanzo Tambuzi, super chat. Let super me chat, s- super chat. Raise, raise my pie. So we're oh, not going to take. That's that okay. Part. Sorry. <laughs> we're gonna um, we're gonna stop on the super chat. So I, we so appreciate all of your questions coming in, guys. But just um, out of the pleasantry for Steve, who has been on with us for over an hour now, um, I just want to answer the rest of these super chats, and then we'll have to have him on again. Um, just so that he's not on here till midnight. So please don't send any more super chats because we want to make sure that we get to all of them and there's still a couple more here to go. So thank you so much. Okay, Chanzo says, behind the drama on PR playback trouble with Saban, financial frustration, get the drama first on PR playback every Wednesday. (laughs) 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 Every Wednesday. You type that one yourself. Yeah, I know. (laughs) Behind the drama on PR playback, trouble with Saban, financial frustration, get the drama first on PR playback, every Wednesday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Love that, Chanto. <laughs> well, you know, next wow. week, we're, we're continuing with MMPR next week, and we have um, Karen, who's going to be coming, and oh, Karen, nice. Karen auditioned with Steve, so it's it'll be so great to hear her perspective and what she was doing during the audition because Steve talks about his experience and they were there at the right. same time. That it's it yeah. it's so intriguing to me because my experience, my audition was not anywhere near like your guys's. Um, I'm stro- yeah. strolling through trying to find um, our next next, uh, but uh, mine was a lot less. Like there was uh, hundreds of people, but not thousands. Like. 5,000 yeah. like you guys had. So God bless you. Just a shout out to Victor. Super chat. Going to go on to the next one. Let me see. Another um, Victor. He said, thank you for the cameos you sent me and my son, Victor Itzka. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Cool. Yeah. Hi. Good to see you again. <laughs> thank you for writing. And I think we are nearing the end on the super chats. Okay. Let me just make sure. I know that there's one more, but okay, there may be two more. Um, thank okay. you so much, Steve. You're just amazing. Thank you so much for staying on and, and answering all the questions, and I appreciate it. So this one, let me see. This one, you're froze, Steve. You still there? Steve is like this. <laughs> well, I'm going to read it up, read it out loud. I don't know if Steve can hear me or not, but it says, um, it's Corian. Uh, what up, man, bro? I feel like the MMPR movie was way ahead of its time. I honestly feel that it stands with these new superhero movies today. It definitely was better than the reboot. I, since, you know, Steve is not there to answer, I would have to say that it was definitely a, a great movie. I liked the reboot, but I felt like there needed to be a lot more fighting. Um, fighting, more fighting should have taken place a lot sooner than it did. Um, I don't think. I think I've lost both of my co host my my co host and my guest. So I'm going to answer this last question, which is the last super chat here. Um, let me put that to the side, and then there was one. There was one. Let me fix my hair here. And this is Bolton Hello. Biggs. Oh, are you there? I I hear you, but I don't see you. I don't see you, Steve. Your um video. Uh, Hello. Can't hear you. I'm so sorry. Um, so Bolton Big says, "Hey, this okay. is a question for all three of you. Did you get to keep or s- no? I can't hear you, Steve. Steve is trying to come back in, guys. He wants to answer those questions for you, but I think there's something going on. Well, it's almost midnight there, or it is midnight. Oh, there he is. Going on. Okay. Well, um, there's my face. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Sorry, I, I, I switched to my phone. I don't know why the computer just shut off. So sorry." That's okay. Thank you for coming back. 
Um, there was a question yeah. for you. Um, he asked, what was your... Actually, let me go back to it real quick. He said, what up? It's Corian. He said, it's... Uh, what up, man, bro? I feel like the MMPR movie was way ahead of its time. I honestly feel that it stands with these new superhero movies today. It definitely was better than the reboot. What are your thoughts? Man, yeah, I, I tend to agree. You know what I mean? Um, you know, uh, the suits were amazing. I mean, as far as the look of them. Not, 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 not the way they moved around. That was not ahead of its time. But the idea of that armor suit was definitely ahead of its time, which is very cool. Um, so I, I liked that, and you know, it was definitely a lot more action packed than the second than that reboot movie was. Yes. So yeah, I tend to agree with you on those things. Yeah. Well, okay, we're in agreement because I liked the second movie. <laughs> I liked the, the well, the third movie, the reboot. But I just felt like they it took way too long to get to the fighting. It took way yeah. too long for them to morph. And and I really think they should have had cameos of the original cast. Like, had some original. Cause, yeah, they dropped the ball in a couple of different I agree. You know? I agree. Um, Bolton, hey, this is a question for all three of you. Uh, did you get to keep or steal any props when you left the show? One, two, three, four, fifth. <laughs> I didn't steal anything. Um, I was given. I I, I, yeah, we didn't get to keep a lot of stuff, but I have a few things. Yes, Somehow a few. Somehow I acquired them. We'll leave it at that. Okay. Well, we were. <laughs> I I remember leaving the show. They gave us. They gave me my communicator. And there was an episode that I did where I wore snakeskin yellow yellow pants. I have those that I can't even get over my legs. But um, and you know, just a bunch of things. Actually, there's going to be an episode of that where I open up my my box and I get to, oh, to nice. yeah, where I found things that I didn't even know that I had that they gave us. You know, they had a. Um, right. Do you remember there being a? And there's one last question. Yay! We've got to the end. Um, do you remember the telephone book? For the movie, do you remember um, there was a Santa Clarita? We were on the cover of Santa Clarita Telephone Book for the Power Ranger oh, Turbo yeah, movie. I think, I think I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, I That's found cool. that was really cool. I found I found that in my little basket of goodies. All right, last last shout out. This is Big Licky Studios Super Chat. Raise them up high. My previous super chat was supposed to be a joke. Oh. I don't remember what it was. I'm sorry. But thank you for the joke, Scott. <laughs> um, uh, all right. As I get to Well, the thank you guys all so much. Wow, what a lot of love. Um, if you guys ever want to see more of me, join my podcast on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We also go live. It's the Fantastic Duo Show. We go live on Twitch. So if you guys ever want to you know, um, hear more uh, with Steve, um, please, by all means, uh, jump on there. Yes, and his, I appreciate all the support over the years. Thank you, guys. Look in the in the right corner. Well, I'm looking this way. His uh, logo is right there on the on the side. It says the Fantastic Duo Show with Alex and Steve. Thank you so much, Steve, for being here. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Mwah. Thank yeah. you so much. We'll much have to have you again. Love. Much success for you guys too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Guys, I just want to thank you so much for joining us today, and thank you. Um, for all of your support and all of your love. And then there was one left. <laughs> um, some of you have, have messaged us about uh, channel membership. Um, if you look right there in the corner and underneath the box, there's two ways to join our team. You can join us on Patreon or even through YouTube. We have so many perks available and we have so many things to add and, and a lot of love um, to our team. We even have a, a private Discord that goes on just for our Power Ranger uh, playback team membership. So I just want to thank you guys all and thank you so much for joining us. Bye!